Hello, welcome to the next part of the plug and play tactical experiment with me, Magoobidge. Third season, back to back promotions, put the tactic into the team, very first game of the very first season. Haven't touched it since. Been great so far. You join me and look at this. We face the impossible. The reason we face the impossible is because of the league table. So if you have a look, we've played 22 games now. We've won 12, drawn 5, lost 5. We're off top spot with three points behind Crew, who are top of the league, and Wickham, who have just beaten us. They're two points ahead of us. Last games you saw, we beat Chesterfield 5-2 and drew with Aldershot. Since then, got stuffed away by Port Vale 4-1. We then have beaten Leighton Orient in the FA Cup first round, 3-1. Great result. Beat Doncaster in the Leasing.com Trophy group to get through to the second round. We then played a uh, friendly against Sheffield United because we had no games for two weeks and we lost 2-1. We lost to Yeovil in the league, 2-1. We thumped Plymouth 6-1 at home and then lost to Luton in the FA Cup second round and we had a player sent off after about... How when was he sent off? Let's have a look. 38th minute, we had a player sent off, and at that point, it was 2 2. After that, they scored two late goals and they punished us. So, we got through to the second round of the leasing trophy, and we've beaten Blackburn under 23s, which is a good result. But as I said before, we've lost to Wickham in a big, big game. We lost to them away 2 0. Disappointing performance, indeed. Really bad. My player ratings are all full. Um, but then we've just beaten. Leighton Orient and Leighton Orient were currently 7th. We're just beating them 3-0 at home. So, the next two games you're going to see are Crewe, first in the league. Massive, massive game, followed by Colchester, who are ninth. Now, since you're with me, I've been doing this alter alternating tactic. So, alternating team selection, I should say. First team, second team, rotating games. I'm now getting to the point where we had a break in between some games and some players are unhappy with not playing. My first team, I've just played and beaten Leighton Orient. I should, by rights, play my second team against Crew, but I'm not going to. So let's get into this game. We are above and beyond expectations from everyone. Skip that briefing. Part of this tactic is there's no opposition instructions. Every time I ask the assistant manager to do it, he puts an opposition instruction on it. It disrupts the tactic, and it's not good. So one other thing to note, as we get into this particular game, finance-wise, we're 100,000 in the red. I was hoping that we beat Luton and get a big draw in the FA Cup. Didn't happen. So the lease-in trophy is our next best bet. Or somebody from the squad that can... I mean, who have I got valued? I've got Gilmore's valued 140,000. He's the most expensive. I oh, know he isn't. Tunnicliffe, 155,000. So... I need money. I'm losing money left, right and centre. So here we go. This is crew away. This is a massive, massive game. They're the odds on favourites. So my first team, I played with the last game, are going to play this one as well. Submit that team. Right, they're playing 4-2-3-1 wide. Dressing room. Team talk. Passionate, we're the underdogs. Assertive, I've got faith. Assertive, I've got faith. Again, Come on, Gateshead. Need a good result here. So we got the throw. Sarpong takes it. Flicked on by Brown Sterling. Stubbs with a volley. Saved by the keeper. Comes back in. There's Fernandez. Smallest player on the planet. Heads it straight at the goalkeeper. Great start from us. Bowler. Another long throw. Flicked on by Curry. Hackney. Off the crossbar. Two great opportunities. First 10 minutes. And we don't take them. Bowler again, long throw, straight to the goalkeeper. Right, centre-backs get back. He's going to lump it over the top. Right, they've managed to get... Oh, they've given the ball away. Fernandez is through. Only the keeper to beat, and the keeper saves it. We're all over them. Absolutely all over them. How are they top of the league? To keep encouraging the players. They're fired up, some of them. Mayunga's nervous. He's a full international now. I don't know why he's nervous. We're playing so well, so many chances, and we're still nil-nil. It's one of those games where you hope you're not made to pay for it, but we all know how this game works. Right, dressing room, team talk. 
passionate. We're not doing badly at all. If everybody continues to work hard, we'll win this. And then assertively say to every department, there's more to come from you. Demand more. Hackney's 6.5 at the minute. Well, front two are not in the game, really. Right, my winger's now injured. We can keep it down this side. Agatisi's injured. He's been an outstanding player so far this season. Right, James takes his time. Mayunga looks up to Brown Sterling, but it comes out to Fernandez. Brown Sterling off of him shoots wide, woefully wide. Right, make a sub. Oh, no, I've only got my youngster that can play there, or Curry can play there, and Brown Sterling. Brown Sterling to move out to right wing. Jordan Preston come up front with Curry. Show passion, boys. Half hour to go. We've had the better opportunities. They've had no highlights to this point. That's that quote right there is going to come and bite me, isn't it? Shout again, demand more. Right, they've now got the free kick. Let's win it back if we can. No, they're going to get an opportunity. Can we keep them out? Great work from Fernandez, tracking back. Plays it up to Preston, who's dropped deep. Takes it down the line. He's given the freedom to run down the line as well. And there's a foul in the box. Curry's been brought, pushed over. It's a penalty. Preston, please score. Please score it. Come on, Preston. And he does. It's just rewards for us. Look at me getting all excited. Get out of my chair. It's rewards for the way we've been playing. We've been playing outstandingly well. Goalkeeper, no chance. Brilliant, brilliant. Right, sub. So I need to make two more subs. So what am I doing? So both my midfielders are booked. So let's bring Oli on for Hackney. As Fernandez. Fernandez is not too bad. Um... Right, I'm going to leave that. Just the two changes. Shout. Demand more on the players. Eight minutes to go. It's been all us. Been all over crew. Oh, they got a free kick late on. Do not score. Right, Ollie picks the ball. Loose ball up. Get rid of it. Well done. Gives the ball away, though. They're going to come at us a second time. They do. He's in. Oh, good save from James. And good block again. Great block. Right, get rid of this. Injury time. We're into injury time. Get it away. Head it over. And go for that. They wouldn't have deserved that at all. What a big win for us. Massive win. Passionate. People have written us off today and you produced. Excellent. Absolutely excellent result. Takes us to second. Two points behind Wickham. Brilliant. We're on 44 points. We should be safe at least... Agatisi's only out for a day or so. Okay, so we're going to move forward now to the next game, which is Colchester at home. So here's an update for you. Rod McDonald, the guy that was kicking off about not playing, who was the fourth best centre-back that I had, is going. £23,000 to Oxford. Get rid of him. So we've just had our game postponed, believe it or not. And Colchester just changed their manager as well. So we actually haven't got a game. So the next game you're going to see is going to be Chesterfield coming up on the 28th. Only a couple of days' time. So there you go. I've gone straight into my player filters. Omar Beckles has popped up. This guy can come in and do a job. He's got a wealth of experience around League 1 and League 2 football. I've offered him a six-month contract. That should do it. That's confirmed. McDonald's going to Oxford. No problem. Also, just to let you know about uh, transfers, is Dom Ter is going to go. He's going to TNS also on the 1st of January. So Dom Ter is currently on £1,500 a week. He's off my wage budget. McDonald's on 825 So I'm looking at 2300 back in signings, and Beckles has been offered £900 a week. So my finances are good. Here we go. This is Chesterfield at home the next game. We've got a game in hand on everybody else. And look, other teams must have dropped points. They did drop points. Let's have a look. Results. 
Weekend results. Wickham. Nil nil. Wickham. They drew. Crew won. Brilliant. So here we go. So do I stick with the first team that's been playing every single week? I think I'm going to. Submit the team. I say every single week, but I mean lately. So Chesterfield are playing a 4 2 3 1. We need a performance. Passionate, been on a good run lately. Nice and calmly. I've got faith in all of you. In the team, talk, play. Encourage these players. If we can win this game, then we've still got a game in hand, which should take us top if we win it. Right, they've got the free kick. Cross comes in. Back post header, 1 0 down. Typical. We can't defend free kicks or corners very well, I have to say. It is a major, major concern. Straight to the back post. The three players unmarked. I can't adjust anything in the tactic. Right, straight away, show me some passion to respond. We're having these performances where we're blowing teams away and then we come up against teams like this and play poorly, really poorly. Right, we've worked the ball well out the back there, which has been good. Sarpong drives forward. I want to try and hit him as soon as we can. Fernandez has a chance in behind, straight at the goalkeeper. Coddington lumps the ball forward. Tunnicliffe picks up second ball, gives it to Hackney, comes back this way. Fernandez, Mayunga, Bowler, Brown Sterling heads it back to Hackney. Comes wide to Agatisi. Curry on the second attempt. Get it out of his feet. Scores his 13th goal of the season. 13th, I should say. And that puts us 1-0. Good move. Brown's done did well to head it back to Hackney. Hackney, one touch. Agatisi with the assist again. Brilliant. 1-1. One, one. Right, so I'm going to praise them because they've responded. I've got no reaction from the team at all. Right, we're 45 points, three behind Wickham. So, so set pieces are the problem. Right, long throw, Sarpong takes it. Been pushed, Agatisi's been pushed off the ball. We've got another penalty. Who's taking it this time? Mitchell Curry steps up, scores. 2-1, he's got his second goal of the game, 14th of the season. Curry's scoring goals again. To be fair, all my forwards are. Goalkeeper, no chance. 2-1. We've recovered from a losing position. Been a good reaction, but I need more. Right. Assertively say, things are going well. You're capable of even better. If you weren't that bad, I believe you can still improve to all departments of the team. Shout. Demand more. Fernandez is on a 6.4. I've got my... Sarpong, my right back, 6.4 as well. That's the problem. Sarpong's improving. Right, Fernandez is coming off. JJ O'Donnell for Fernandez. Brown's on for Sarpong. And what else do I need to do? Agatisi's not doing anything at the moment. Let's leave it as it is. Half hour to go. Demand more from the players. They're focused now, which is good. We're three points behind Wickham. They got a better goal difference than us, but we got a game in hand. Right, Bowler, take the throw. Hells it into the box. Keeper. Oh dear, what's happened there? Keeper fumbled it. We've struck it off the crossbar. They clear it for a corner. Bowler swings it in. Head of the way, comes to Stubbs, Agatisi, back to Bowler. Should have had a shot, but it looked like he tried to cross it there. Nine minutes to go, plus injury time. Can we hold on? They've got the attack, but they've given it away. Bowler's done well to step in and win it. Right, Brown, Brown and Sterling's come this way. Right, they're going to break, aren't they? Lumped ball forward. Right, it comes out to Brown finally. Got time to get his foot on the ball. Agatisi, out wide right. Cross comes in. Brown Sterling's shot is blocked. And it's cleared away. 
Another throwing opportunity. Bowler. Take another long one. Takes it. Headed off. Oh, dearie me. Saved. That was Curry at the, right on the six yard box. Point blank. Corner. Bowler to take it. Plays it back. Curry's dropped off looking for a ball outside the box. And we've given the ball away. They're going to break and let no. It's good. We had the man on the cover. Nearly 3,000 fans in the ground. Oh dear, look at that. Last minute, I thought they were going to nick it. An equaliser. So our free kick is 30 seconds of injury time to go. James lumps the ball forward. We win it. Agatisi's taken out. Wins the free kick, kills some time. Right, blow the whistle. Blow that whistle, referee. Agatisi, that's it. We've won it 2 1. Excellent performances. Really, really good. Two wins after the way we'd started the month in December. Yeah, we're not playing. Our, um, our disciplinary is not good because we're on hard tackling. So there you go. Those two games have been played. We're on. We played twenty-four, one fourteen, drawn five, lost five, forty-seven points. We currently sit third, three points behind Crew now. Wickham are only a point ahead of us. We've got a game in hand. We win our game in hand. We go top. We've got a plus eleven goal difference compared to Crew. But look at our finances: hundred forty-seven thousand in the red. So I'm going to carry on playing through. So let's have a good schedule. Again, we're trying to look for seven to eight episodes in a season. So I'm going to play through the whole of January, a busy, busy month, through until we play. Let's have a look at some of these games. Let's have a look. Okay. Next episode, in fact, will be the end of January. We're going to play Forest Green, who are ninth, and then South End. Two big games at home. We're going to play those two. And then after that would be Wickham and Leighton Orient. And then the running to the end of the season. If you've enjoyed the video, then smash that like button for me. Then subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching so far and your support. See you next time.